Hello to all of our viewers. I'm Scott Grievous, and I'm one of the physicians that is working with a Wildwood Lifestyle Center. And I wanted to just have an opportunity to share with you some information that would help you to be not so unsettled by all that we're seeing here in the world today with all of these infectious diseases and so forth. Here we have a plan uh, that is designed to help people uh, boost their immune system in every way uh, so that we can live healthfully and to the glory of God. We teach people who come here what we call lifestyle interventions. And those lifestyle interventions are very simple, but they make a powerful impact on our immune system, such as diet, what we're eating, what we're drinking, uh, exercise, outdoors in the fresh air and sunlight, how much rest we are getting, uh, how much water we're drinking to replenish the needs of the body, um, and trying to not to live in an anxious, stressful state. This really does uh, a lot of harm to our immunity and to the immune cells. Now, in addition to lifestyle modification, we also use two other arms of therapy. One is what we call hydrotherapy. And this is the therapeutic application of water to the body at different temperatures. And in these different techniques, we are actually doing two things. We are augmenting the circulation throughout the body. Uh, and you know that the more blood you get to different tissues, to organs, to cells, the healthier you will be if your blood is healthy. And so this is one objective of hydrotherapy, and the other is to actually work with our immune system to, do, to boost cellular production of these immune cells and their uh, helpful activity in the body. We're wanting to recommend to people a shift away from such a heavy concentration in all of your animal foods to what we now know is the healthiest diet, and that is more of your plant-based foods. And we can get that from science. So many of our major medical centers and our public health uh, uh, centers are advocating more of a shift to those kinds of foods. Another big thing that you can do at home is in the beverage consumption, avoid those beverages that we know are going to damage the body. And those would be alcohol, coffee, tea, all these soda beverages, cola drinks, and try to substitute more of your herbal teas, uh, plenty of water uh, to uh, vivify this body and then exercise, and not just exercise like in the gymnasium, but where permitting, weather permitting, exercise in the outdoors, where you'll get plenty of fresh air, sunlight, um, and this would be another real benefit. Another lifestyle principle would be proper rest, and we would like to encourage you to uh, get a good night of rest to go to bed at reasonable hours. We know that the rest before like uh, midnight is worth twice the value of rest after midnight. And so when we're encouraging people to get to bed, say between nine and 10, we know that they will improve not only their rest cycle, but the hormone releases that occur during the early parts of the hour where they're releasing melatonin, um, which will also aid with sleep, growth hormone, which is the major repair hormone of the body. So we're telling people try to get to bed earlier, even if you get up earlier. And most of the sleep studies say that somewhere between six to eight hours of sleep a night is, is the best. Some people won't sleep quite that long, some maybe a little longer, but that's an average. So the rosemary 
and the oregano and thyme, they are nice cooking spices, but they're also markedly antiviral. They have phytochemicals that will help you fight all these viral infections. And the way that I usually tell people, if they have the powder of these, then you take about a teaspoon of each of those spices and you, you steep it. You just put it in a quart of water that's been brought to a boil on the, on the stove. Take that now uh, quart of hot water off and add your tablespoon of, uh, excuse me, teaspoon of each of those if it's a powder. If it's the leaf, then you can add the tablespoon of the leaf. But you can combine those and it will make a nice tea that's markedly antiviral. Again, sweeten it with maybe in a quart, you can put a couple of uh, lemon that have been squeezed, the juice of that, and then sweeten to your taste, whatever that may be. Um, don't use, though, the table sugar. We're wanting either honey or like stevia. Now, there's some other things that you can also use, you can get in capsule form at the health stores. A couple of them are actually complex together, and that's golden seal and echinacea. And both of these, they'll come in a capsule, and you can take one capsule three or four times a day, both as a preventive and if you're starting to feel like you're coming down with fever or cold symptoms. And you can take it with that garlic drink. Um, another nice antiviral agent is astragalus, uh, which will also boost the immune system just like echinacea, but it's also antiviral like echinacea. So there are a number of simple things that you can do. Now, getting away just from the simple herbs so much into some of the other supplements, people are now using a lot of zinc lozenges uh, throughout the day, which will neutralize viral ex uh, viruses that have come with inhalational exposure or whatever. And another one called N-acetylcysteine. It's called NAC. And it is a, a nice producer of glutathione in the body, which also helps as an antioxidant to um, help neutralize these uh, viruses and inflammation. And uh, also it helps if you have chest congestion to loosen that mucus, to break it up and help you to expectorate that. So while not everybody can, can implement these changes at home, they're gonna find it difficult. Um, and they need some help, we would encourage people to come to Wildwood because all of these things that we have mentioned, plus more, we can actually help you with right here at the center. And if you're local in the area, that's wonderful. But if not, people are coming to our center from all over the world, overseas as well as from all parts of the United States. Um, and they are having a rich experience here at the center. Um, health is improving and they're getting a new lease on life as they're making some of these lifestyle changes. And also, uh, as far as the herb products, um, we not only market these here at our store, but if you're not even local, you can call our herb store and they will ship them to you. And you can just ask for the herb store and they would be happy to assist you in any way. God bless you. Thank you.